So alleged specifications for NVIDIA's next generation GeForce RTX 3070 Ti and GeForce RTX 3070 graphics cards with Ampere Gaming GPUs have allegedly been detailed. We've already talked about the specs relating to the high-end GeForce RTX 30 series lineup. Now we can talk about what to expect from NVIDIA's $400 to $500 segment in the coming generation, provided pricing doesn't get pushed around too much again. Now the latest specifications come once again from Copite 7 Kimmy, who has previously been correct about his NVIDIA Ampere A100 leaks and detailed specifications of Ampere's gaming GPUs, such as the RTX 3080 Ti and 3080, as well as second generation Titan RTX. But this time, he has hinted at what could be the possible specifications for NVIDIA's more mid-range of the RTX series on the next lineup. The GeForce RTX 3070 series to be specific. Now according to the rumored details, NVIDIA will be preparing at least two gaming graphics cards that will feature the GA104 GPU. Now these are rumored to include the RTX 3070 Ti as well as the 3070 non-Ti. While the GA102 GPU will be featured in the highest end offerings, the GA104 will feature a more optimized design for GPUs in that sub $500 price segment. Replacing the TU104 GPU, which was featured on three of the GeForce RTX 20 series graphics cards, the GeForce RTX 2080 Super, the RTX 2080, as well as the RTX 2070 Super. The GA104 GPU will offer key improvements in architecture design while leveraging from IPC improvements over the Turing generation. With that out of the way, let's talk about the rumored specifications for both cards. First up, we have the RTX 3070 Ti, and it's surprising that such a card is mentioned in this rumor. Usually the 70 series has a seen a Ti variant before with the Pascal generation in the form of the GTX 1070 Ti, but we didn't get to see that such variant in Turing generation, and that's possibly due to the RTX 2070 getting refreshed as the RTX 2070 Super and not as the RTX 2070 Ti. The naming scheme for the GeForce RTX 30 series isn't set in stone right now, so, well, you know, it could change. Who knows? So let's take a look at the graphics card spec. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti would feature a full GA104 GPU. That's the GA104-400-A1 SKU with a total of 3072 CUDA cores in it. It's stated that there will be at least two boards, a PG141 and a PG142, with the former featuring GDDR6X memory and the latter featuring GDDR6. Both cards will feature 8GB of VRAM, and now looking at the GPU, we're talking about the same core configuration of the DU104 GPU, which peaked at 3072 CUDA cores with the RTX 2080 Super. If GA104 GPUs were to use the same core configuration, then the main improvement in performance would come from the new architecture as well as clock speed bump over the RTX 2080 Super graphics cards. Also, having two different SKUs for the 3070 Ti seem unlikely, but NVIDIA has done similar things in the past. Our theory is that both PG141 and the PG142 boards are currently being tested with GDDR6 and GDDR6X memory, but only one of them would pass validation for the retail channel. In terms of performance and pricing, the RTX 3080 Ti could offer faster performance than the RTX 2080 Super for a price of around $500. This would mean that users will be able to get similar or better performance than the existing $699 US graphics card at a much lower price point. Again, this is just our speculation, but we believe that the RTX 2070 successor won't be breaking the $500 US pricing. Now, the other model is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, which will feature a slightly cut down GA104-300 GPU SKU, which will feature 8 gigabytes of memory, but that one will be GDDR6. Having GDDR6 is not a big deal since the speeds of the memory can reach up to 18 gigabits per second, as tested by major DRAM manufacturers and and already seen 15.5 gigabits per second on the RTX 2080 Super. If we don't get 16 gigabits per second pin speeds as the base DRAM configuration on Ampere GPUs, then the 256-bit card will be able to output 512 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, which is a market improvement over the 448 gigabytes per second of the existing Turing GPUs. The GeForce RTX 3070 is said to feature 2,944 CUDA cores, which are the same core count as the RTX 2080. So the RTX 3070 Ti, as per the rumor, features the same core count as the 2080 Super, while the 3070 features the same core count as the base 2080. If both cards launch side by side, then a $400 price point for the non-TI and a $500 price point for the TI model seem likely, but this kind of segmentation is early in the launches, which was very unlikely for Nvidia. What could happen is that the RTX 3070 launches first for around $400 to 500, who knows, with the performance bar of the 2080 Super 
but a better variant in the form of the RTX 3070 Ti arrives later on as a refresh with the pricing closer to the $500 US mark and performance surpassing that of the RTX 2080 Super. At this point, we just have to wait and see how Nvidia goes with the pricing this time around, but with AMD adjusting its high-end mainstream Radeon RX DNA the RX RDNA 2 graphics cards launch for Q4 2020, we might see some aggressive prices from Nvidia for its own Ampere lineup this time around. With the first custom RTX 3080 graphics card already being pictured, we are likely to get a launch in the coming months. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.